Hello, let's talk a little bit about falling safely. It might sound a little bit grim and not the best way to start. However, when we're doing something like handstands, there is a risk of falling. So we want to be able to do that safely. Everybody falls and it's the only way to improve in anything in life. We always have to take a tumble and learn from our mistakes and continue on. It doesn't mean you'll always be perfect and you'll never fall again. It's one of those things we are not robots, things will happen, we might feel tired sometimes, we just lose control of our own body and sometimes we fall and the experts fall. So to practice falling safely, in this way your body will start to just do this naturally and you will get out of your own way. And it's one of my big sayings if you do my yoga, which you should if you're doing the calisthenics training, it is the best way to be prepared for the calisthenics. Um, you must get out of your own way, all right? So to do that, we're gonna start with some cartwheels. Cartwheels are excellent for training us to get out of our own way in a handstand because they teach us to control our body as we move to the side. They teach us, it teaches us to move our hand while we're supporting our body, which allows our body to then come down to the side and freeze up that space for your legs to come into that space. So it might seem really silly, but we're gonna start practicing cartwheels like what you did in Pippin maybe. <laughs> um, so we're going to do that, we're going to start really low, we'll start to increase the intensity and then we'll bring it to the wall and I'll show you how to come off the wall with that cartwheel style. And I want you to practice this all the way through your training so that it just becomes really natural for you to fall that way. So just start off by um, having your legs really low and a little small cartwheel. So just get comfortable with that movement. So you're just coming in nice and soft, keep your joints nice and soft. Um, I'm trying to do this while I'm talking. Keeping your joints nice and soft and you're just moving through that cartwheel, not being too rough on yourself, keeping everything nice and soft. Breathe through it as we've discussed in your guide, in your videos. Just keeping those knees and those legs nice and low just now. And over time you can start to raise them, so bring them up a little bit. And all you're doing is practicing supporting your body while you're moving with less control and teaching your, yourself to move your hand and free up some space for your leg to come out on the other side. So we want to be doing that and once we're quite confident of having the legs in the air doing that, we'll bring up to the wall. So once you feel really comfortable here and you're comfortable working on the wall as well, so you don't need to do this right now if you're not quite at the level of working on the wall, keep doing the cartwheels. But if we are here at the wall, start to bring it up. So we're walking into the wall the way that we normally would. And don't go too close just now because it's quite advanced to be really close to the wall and fall out of it. So I don't want you to be super close unless you're there in your training. And I just want you to practice freeing up one hand and then letting yourself fall down to the side. And that's where the cartwheel comes in. And then your full handstand, you'll do the same thing. So you'll be up there, you'll go, oh, I'm falling. Your hand will naturally move and you'll come down to the side. And that's what we want to do. So I'll do this one again, just in case you missed that. Um, so just coming up and again, unless you are right at the end of your training, you're into your full handstands, don't go right up against the wall. So just come in a little bit, keep yourself nice and soft, you know which hand you're about to move to get yourself out of your own way, and then let the legs come down to that side. So I'm lifting my right hand up here, moving it over, and allowing my legs to come down. So that's how we safely get out of a handstand, that's how we safely get out of a full handstand when we're doing it. And if you've been practicing that all the way along, then your body's naturally going to do that. And let yourself come to the same side all the time if you want to, because your body's going to want a habit, and that's fine. Um, it kind of makes it easier for your body to adjust into that safety mode when, when you are up there and falling down. Um, we also have the Hail Mary, <laughs> and I don't want this to put you off, but if you have left it too late, you can go into a forward roll. You don't want to have to do this because it's not going to feel really comfortable. You are going into a forward roll from a height. So just to protect your head and your neck, all you're doing is just tucking your chin in 
and you forward roll and you'll land on here with a little bit of force, which isn't excellent, but it's better than you landing on your head, obviously. So just tuck your chin and go over onto it. But preferably, that's what we don't want to do. So practice these cartwheels and um, practice them low. Start lifting the legs high. When you're competent with your wall work, start practicing and um, doing exactly what we've done on the wall there. And again, you can do it with the full handstand as well. Just keep practicing when you're in your full handstand, just moving that hand, allowing your legs to come into that space, coming out of it nicely. And you will need this, no matter how good you are, how good you think you may be, you will need this. Every car needs brakes. Um, it just is what it is. You know, we're gonna have to use them sometimes and that's okay, it's all part of it. So let's do it confidently and be prepared for it when it's going to happen. And in that way, you're not going to crumble. But also, I want to remind you to use your breath. Your breath work is so important. Be soft in your joints. You don't need all this rigidity that everybody keeps going on and on and on about in any training at all. Typically, when I look at these people that go on and on about rigidity, they're not very comfortable, they're sore, they end up with injuries. Um, so move with your body, don't go through any closed doors, be safe, be comfortable, go in your own time. So don't put any expectations of time on you. If you think I should have done this already, someone else would have done it within a month, anything like that, you go with your own body. No one else is you, no one else lives your life, no one else can do the training that you can do. So everybody's different, everybody's unique. Take your time, we're doing our best advice. When you feel competent, you move on to the next stage. Um, and always practice the fall safely and you, you probably enjoy it just as much as the handstands as well. So it's quite fun to do a cartwheel also. <laughs> okay, so go away, really enjoy it. You're going to find yourself absolutely loving it. Good luck and you know where I am if you need to talk about this anymore. Okay, enjoy.